Final instructions. Lake Kern applying the pressure. Backlund trying to reach for the ropes right now, but Kern dragging him into the middle of the ring. We'd like to say hi to one of the original kangaroos who's watching the program today, Big Al Costello, watching us in Clearwater, Florida. Oh, yeah, I know Big uh, Al Costello very well. How's he doing? He is doing fantastic. Ran into him the other day, and he watches the show regularly and thinks that we have the finest talent in the country here right now. Oh, I have to agree with him. One thing you'll notice about Kern is he works one particular part of the body, Wayne. He's been working on that left leg, and he will continue to work on that left leg until that left leg becomes so weak that Backlund, oh! Oh, what a punishing maneuver. And you wonder why we have so many knee injuries in professional wrestling. All you have to do is look at that last maneuver by Steve Kern. And I think we're gonna see it again. Backlund, ooh! Right about now, if I were the Reverend Billy C. Wirtz, I'd be making an appointment with my favorite orthopedic surgeon. Ted, I think that's why you and I are sitting over here and we're not up there. No doubt about it, my friend. I love professional wrestling, but uh, no way would you find me inside that uh, squared circle. Steve Kern has held many titles throughout his career, but I was talking to him before the program today, and he says the one that he holds the most pride in is the Florida Heavyweight Championship because it represents his home state. Oh, yes. Steve and I have talked about that on many occasions. You know, Steve's held over 40 titles in his several-year tenure. A brilliant wrestling career, Wayne. And it's not over by a long shot. Right about, right about now. <laughs> Right about now, Mr. Backlund has discovered that two can play the game as he was reaching for the world current, he reached under the armpit and grabbed a handful of hair. Not only does he have a sore knee at this point, but uh, that armpit has to be stinging a bit. And there's one small mistake by... ...is the Florida Heavyweight Championship because it represents his home state. Oh, yes. Steve and I have talked about that on many occasions. You know, Steve's held over 40 titles and his several year tenure a brilliant wrestling career Wayne and it's not over by a long shot right about right about now <laughs> right about now Mr. Backlund has discovered that two can play the game as he was reaching for the rope current he reached under the armpit and grabbed a handful of hair not only does he have a sore knee at this point but uh, that armpit has to be stinging a bit and there's one small mistake by play Kern down, here comes, oh! Steve Kern is too wise for that particular move, going back to the leg, moving over, going in for the figure four uh -oh. leg The one that he holds the most pride in is the Florida Heavyweight Championship because it represents his home state. Oh yes, Steve and I have talked about that on many occasions. You know, Steve's held over 40 titles in his several year tenure. A brilliant wrestling career, Wayne. And it's not over by a long shot. Right about, right about now. <laughs> Right about now, Mr. Backlund has discovered that two can play the game as he was reaching for the rope current, he reached under the armpit and grabbed a handful of hair. Not only does he have a sore knee at this point, but uh, that armpit has to be stinging a bit. Now there's one small mistake by Steve play. Kern down, here comes. Steve Kern has held many titles throughout his career, but I was talking to him before the program today, and he says the one that he holds the most pride in is the Florida Heavyweight Championship because it represents his home state. Oh, yes, Steve and I have talked about that on many occasions. You know, Steve's held over 40 titles in his several-year tenure. A brilliant wrestling career, Wayne. And it's not over by a long shot. Right about, right about now. <laughs> Right about now, Mr. Backlund has discovered that two can play the game as he was reaching for the rope current, he reached under the armpit and grabbed a handful of hair. Not only does he have a sore knee at this point, but uh, that armpit has to be stinging a bit. And there's one small mistake by Steve play. Kern down, here comes, oh! Steve Kern is too wise for that particular move, going back to the leg, moving over, going in for the figure four uh -oh. leg this could be all over, oh, but, but. It's in the ropes. And I have to not, admit, I haven't seen Kern use that move in a long time. In a long time. If not for the grace of God and the uh, ring ropes, we could be uh, saying goodbye Lola to this one. Backlund right now favoring that knee, Wayne, and obviously in a lot of pain. Collar and elbow into a headlock. Kern applying the pressure into the turnbuckle. Mickey, Mickey J calling for the break. And coming off the break, a forearm smash to the head. Another. Backlund may be making a mistake right about now and waking up, Steve. You were right. We're 
all of the talent that Backlund has. One questions his ability, and there he goes. It is Simon X time, baby. He's got him into that sleeper hole. There goes the Reverend Ward. Oh, oh. Hurricane Walker and Mike Olson. Well, let me ask you, Coach. You didn't answer my question. You know where the Reverend's at? Where is he at? Is he hiding? Seems like Slinker's trying to uh, come into his territory of managerial uh, tutelage there. He's up there. I know the Reverend, man. He's, you know, if any he finds out about this, he's going to be running his mouth a mile a minute. Unless he's scared to come back. He runs that mouth so much, he's the only man I know that can eat a banana sideways. Beautiful. Beautiful, Dallas. <laughs> sideways. I can't say that I miss him. <laughs> Side headlock, a powerful one. Thrown on Hurricane Walker by the big, powerful Mike Awesome. Shook off by Walker, who receives a shoulder block right in. And it's that standing there, and now a hip toss, a very slow, intimidating hip toss. Was that, was that a slow toss. motion hip toss? You know, when you take the weight of somebody like Awesome over, you just don't flip him over like a 185-pound guy. Not saying that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Two well-built guys and a collar and elbow, and a powerful hoist by Awesome. Only wow. first. Crotch lift again. And whoa! A game of chess, tit for tat. What's that shaking hands crap all about? They ain't out there to shake hands. There is such a thing as sportsmanship, even though this is a rough, tough business, you still can have the art of gentlemanly sportsmanship displayed once in a while, Dallas. Not often, but once in a while. Side headlock by the new sensation of the mat world. Whoa! Hurricane Walker knocking down a 285-pound awesome. And there, they are reversed. What are they dancing? Were they on their way to Roseland? They're just countering inverted wizard tosses. I hate when I see two guys like this in a ring together. It, it irritates me. What are you talking about? It's a beautiful confrontation, and, you know, it's an alteration. Like he's going to ask him out on a date or something. What are you talking about? The guy's countering the other guy in a superb manner, and they are power. Wing over by Austin was not a spin under. And an inside bar, possibly into a hammerlock. No, he's going to keep it in a straight bar. It's actually an open bar by, and I don't mean that for drinking purposes for your show out there. It's an open bar by Mike Austin on Hurricane. And Hurricane had a little bit of trouble here, working into, trying to go over for an inverted toss on him. And there, backing out. Get him up there nicely. Beautiful back kick, and now he got him into that hip toss. He shakes his hand. I'm going to walk in and smack him. That's a beautiful. He made him look stupid. Beautiful move. They're countering each other's moves, setting up. They're setting each other up at, at the same time. A beautiful counter. This is known as defensive wrestling a lot of times. This is the way you hang around for matches and don't get pinned. The man with 1,001 holes is no good if he's not around to use them. Both these fellas well-versed in the art of defensive wrestling. That's exactly what's going on. Ooh. Yeah, heads power. up. Like, oh, oh, no. oh, Yes, a rolling cradle. He got two round bucks. I can't believe he rolled them up like that. You're never more in a dangerous position of being pinned when you are in the act of pinning the oh, guy man, yourself. make me sick. And watch here, watch here. He's got him right here. He just rolled too far on him there. That's where, you're, that's where that weight is. It became a disadvantage that's there, That's where balance comes in, too. I'm the weight. I'll give you credit. But that.